Over on BBC Two shortly, the RKO Ladies' season continues with Irene Dunn in The Joy of Living. This is BBC One. <laughs> The six o'clock news from the BBC with Sue Lawley and Philip Hayton. Good evening, the headlines at six o'clock. The SDP and Liberal negotiators meet in two hours' time to put their party's merger back on course. After last week's fiasco, the new policymakers have postponed a decision on defence and there's no mention of extended VAT. Opponents say there's a hidden agenda. Hundreds of volunteers have been searching in Worcestershire for Stuart Goff, the paper boy who disappeared yesterday. The military mutiny in Argentina. President Alphonsine has told the French it's all over and the rebels have surrendered. Also tonight, the government's video nasty, the campaign to shock people into shopping terrorists. Prince Edward gets a really useful job in show business. And Sopwith Century, the plane-making ace of two world wars, is a hundred today. Liberal and SDP MPs in favour of the merger between their two parties have been holding meeting after meeting today to consider the details of a new policy document designed to bring about their union. And that was the six o'clock news on Monday the 18th of January. David Steele said the new policy document for merger was sound and sensible. It's the kind of document we should have had in the first place, he said. Neil Kinnock launched Labour's new Listen to the People campaign. He said, we are not an exclusive order that exists to talk to itself. And a school in Dublin, pressed for cash, has asked pupils to bring their own loo paper. A spokesman said, we were caught short by the cutbacks. Martin Lewis and Debbie Thrower will be here at nine o'clock from us. Hello. Another spell of wet and windy weather coming.